Hey, it's Michael Saul with the S&P 500 video for Monday, February 6, 2012. Congratulations to the Giants. Boy, they should put me on staff because I basically was, was uh, picking the other team the whole playoffs. And then I gave up in San Francisco. I said, no, nope, I'm not going to go against the Giants that time. I was right. Just not saying I was going with the Giants. I just wasn't going to go go against them. And then I thought Brady was going to pull it out. But, I mean, Eli Manning, second MVP. And, I mean, the Giants play a style of football that can be, uh, you know, really has, you know, shows a lot of um, a lot of similarities to successful trading when you think about it, right? I mean, they pick their spots. They're patient. And they grind it out. They put themselves in a position to win. I mean, yeah, that's, uh, you know, definitely... The characteristics of a winning trader. Right? You're gonna just get out there and and do the run and gun uh, with your trading. I mean, you may have some really good games where you run up the score, so you may have some good trading days where you run up the score. But in the end, you're not really gonna get far. That's not a trading plan. So anyway, uh, congrats to them. And you can check my blog. You can see all my uh, selections. I didn't bet anything. I've bet sports in a number of years, but um, you can check it out. I was dead wrong. Had the Patriots. Patriots money line had the over. The only prop uh, prediction I made was there will be a lead change in the fourth quarter. So, but otherwise, it was it was a horror show. All right, let's take a look at the uh, action on Friday. Gap up off the job numbers, small consolidation. Then we pushed, and then we just grinded. A little arbitrary high here, and then we came back, and then we closed out near the high. So, uh, the market is still acting very well here. Uh, we are still overbought. I mean, I guess this may have worked off a little bit of it, but now we're gapping up here. We we gapped up there. So uh, from here, I mean, I'm still looking for a pullback. I'm still watching for a consolidation. But uh, in my opinion, we uh, should test those 2011 highs and actually go beyond. The Russell, the Russell should test the all-time highs, as should the Dow. All right now... I am still bullish here. I've been bullish for a while here, but I like to see pullbacks. I mean, I guess this was the, the best they could do, which was fine. Okay, we were looking for this uh, 20 EMA, so uh, we came just shy of it. So now I'd be watching for another pullback here and then looking for that to rotate back up. So, uh, you know, in my opinion, that's the uh, trend that I'm going to be watching until it changes, right? The trend is your friend until the end when it bends, all right? And V-reversals are rare. I mean, even this, everybody says, well, this was a V-reversal. Well, really? Because to me, it looks like a test, and then the second leg may have been a little V-ish, but this was a test of this low. So the highs usually take longer to form. I mean, this one took several months before we came down last year. So, um, you know, th that's what I'm watching. I'm watching for us to go higher, but uh, I would like a pause here. I'd like a pullback let the late bulls get on board and, and take this for a ride. So uh, that, that's what I'm looking at. For uh, Monday, I will be watching for a gap either way for a trade, and then from there, see if there's a morning consolidation and uh, take it from there. That's it. Have a great trading day on Monday, and if it's choppy and quiet, I'm going to look for some expansion on Tuesday or Wednesday, by the way, just a, a little preview. All right, that's it. Have a great trading day. I'll talk to everybody again on Tuesday.